All right, so here's a problem I'm having with Pro Video Player 3 and controlling it over DMX. Uh, hopefully this is helpful explaining the problem and uh, we can figure out what's going on. So I'm using Jans Vista, which is the window on the left here. This is my lighting controller. Um, inside of Jans Vista, I've created a fixture. This little guy down here at the bottom left, this is PVP3. So what you're gonna see up here under the controls for that are the DMX uh, controls that I've created for that fixture based on the uh, list of DMX controls available for PVP3. So I've got playlist, queue item, target layer, control type, control value, and transition duration. So we're gonna be looking at this as I change through some lighting cues to see what changes in here. And then over here on the right side of my display, I've got a screen share view of my PVP master computer. Um, connected to that computer is a projector that is shining onto the back wall, back center of our stage. So um, we'll see what that looks like in just a minute. Um, so you'll see I've got one, two, three, four playlists created. I've got items in each of those playlists. Um, my problem is as I change DMX values, I'm not getting changes to reflect that correctly inside of PVP. So uh, we'll take a look at this. I'm on my first light cue. It's just what we use to turn all the lights, all the robotic lights and stuff on in the room. So uh, what we should be seeing is I have um, a looping video playing, but you can see under control type, it is set to hide. So on that screen, the back wall of the stage, we're not seeing uh, that video. So I'm gonna hit play and go to the next lighting cue. Um, before I do that, I want everybody able to see what's going on here. So when I click play, um, what we should see is color bars on the environmental projection layer. So we do see that happen. We have color bars out there. So what's happened is I've changed to playlist four, Q item one. So playlist four, Q item one, um, target layer one, which is my environmental projection output. Control type is unhide. And then uh, control value, I'm not using for anything. Transition duration, um, frankly, I've not found that that does anything at all. I can change that to zero and it still fades. I can change it to 200 and it still fades at one second. So don't know what's wrong there, uh, but transition duration doesn't affect anything. So, okay, so my next lighting cue is pre-service. So what should happen there? is it's got I've got it set so it's going to go back to playlist two I think it goes to cue item number 33 and it goes to hide because I don't want that being seen okay so I'm going to hit play and play so you can see it did go playlist two cue item 33 target layer one and it's set to hide but over here it's still showing the color bars so I'm not sure where we're going wrong. So it has selected playlist number two, but it has not actually gone to Q number 33, even though it says Q 33 in my DMX. Okay, so now when I go to my next lighting cue, which is song one, that's the beginning of the service, uh, what should happen is it should just unhide that cue and we see the motion background that we want on the environmental projection. So I hit play. You can see the control type changed to play. I'm still on playlist two, DMX Q33, and I've gone from unhide or gone from hide to play. Now, unfortunately, it's now showing the color bars up here. So again, it has not changed to Q item 33. I can't figure out why it's not doing that. But if I go to my next lighting cue, song number two, it will be correct. So if I hit play again, uh, cue item changed, playlist did not, layer did not, control type did not. They shouldn't have. All I wanted to do was change the cue item number. So now we have the correct thing playing back here. So I don't understand why that first cue is not going, not going to the right thing. If I go to song number three, the next lighting cue, the same thing happens. Everything stays the same except the cue item number changes. 
we now have the right stuff going on out on the stage. We can see that here. So as I progress through this, everything stays correct as long as I'm moving inside of the one playlist. Now here's the thing that's odd. If I go backwards, back to song one, we'll see the cue item number change. And we see the video that's playing change. If I go back, now I'm at song one, and I now have the correct video playing. And so if I hit this song one light cue going forward, it won't play the right thing. If I hit it going backwards, it will. So what I think is going on, what I think I've found, is that um, Pro Video Player will only respond to DMX changes, not the incoming DMX value. So if the value doesn't change, then it does not honor that. So I'm going to go all the way back to my first light cue again. So I'm at my robots on light cue. So I'm over here. You can see it's playlist 2, cue item 33, layer 1, control type is hide. So if I hit play, this goes to my rehearsal lights. It should give me the color bars. And then if I go to pre-service, for some reason in here, you can see that this changed. My playlist changed, which is reflected here. My cue item number changed, which is not reflected here. Layer and control type went to hide. So if I hit play, go to my song one cue, I now have color bars out here, regardless of my cue item number. So the way DMX works is it's constantly sending out the same signal. So if I take a lighting fixture and I unplug the DMX cable from it and that fixture goes to a home position, it resets to home position, as soon as I plug that DMX back into that light fixture, it goes to whatever it's supposed to be getting, right? So uh, Jans Vista is always sending out playlist 2, playlist 2, playlist 2, Q item 33, Q33, Q33. But uh, PVP does not seem to be responding to that until I change this. So right now, you can see it's still stuck on color bars. If I go up, it changes. And back down it changes back to what it's supposed to be playing. So it seems that PVP is only responding when there's a DMX change. It's not responding to the constant DMX signal that's coming in. I have not, I have not yet figured out if that's the problem I'm having because you can see if I go back to, say, my pre-service, let's go to rehearsal lights. I'm at playlist four, Q item one. If I go to my pre-service lights, it goes playlist 2, Q item 33, but that didn't happen. So I hit play again. It goes to song 1. I'm still stuck on color bars if I go song 2. It updates. Now if I go backwards to song 1, it goes to the correct cue. So this is the problem I'm having. Um, one of the problems I'm having, like I said, transition duration doesn't seem to be responding at all. Um, and if I change layers into a different layer, uh, that gives me problems as well. So I've got six TVs up here at the front of the stage. So if I click on my banner layer, I come over here to say sermon graphics. I click on this. Uh, you can see I've got six TVs at the top of the stage. There are three Mac minis driving that. So two displays per Mac mini. And, uh, that responds, but right now I have layer two selected. If I hit play to go to a different light cue, um, well, it didn't do it that time. It will sometimes play out to the wrong layer. So anyway, just having really inconsistent results inside of Pro Video Player with DMX.